Hello, I'm Evans Mirages, Artistic Director for Cincinnati Opera, and I'm excited to tell you about a significant project we're working on. When we began discussing plans to celebrate our 90th anniversary, we decided we wanted to develop a new production of an opera that would celebrate Cincinnati, especially the rich cultural heritage of Over the Rhine. It quickly became clear that the perfect fit was Wagner's great comedy, Die Meistersinger von Nuremberg. In a moment, we'll take you on a tour of the Over the Rhine locations that have inspired our production. But first, the story of the opera. The story of Die Meistersinger is a joyful tale about a young knight named Walter who has fallen in love with a pretty and virtuous maid named Eva. But alas, Eva has been promised to the winner of a song contest to be held in Nuremberg. So, Walter decides to join the competition himself and at a gathering of the master singers, he offers to audition. His song is appealing, but it breaks all their rules, and so he leaves dejected. Still hoping to win Ava's hand, Walter turns to one of the wisest master singers in town, a shoemaker and poet named Hans Zox. Walter tells Zox of a wondrous dream he's had. Inspired, the poet crafts a new song for the night, and they go off to the contest. In a vast meadow outside Nuremberg, competitors and citizens assemble for the great event. Walter triumphantly presents his song. The people are entranced. Walter has won Eva. But it is Zax who has the last word in the opera, offering praise to their heritage and the grand traditions of art. Cincinnati Opera will move the setting of Die Meistersinger from 16th century Nuremberg to 19th century Cincinnati, specifically 1878, the year Cincinnati Opera's home, Music Hall, opened. Come along with me for a short tour of the Cincinnati locations that have inspired the set for this new production. Wagner chose to set the first act of Die Meistersinger in St. Catherine's Church in Nuremberg. And so we thought when we were going to recreate Wagner in 19th century Cincinnati, we'd come to the most famous church in Over the Rhine, Old St. Mary's, a beautiful edifice built in the 1840s and lovingly restored starting in the 1990s. It's the perfect, more modern equivalent of Wagner's St. Catherine's. You see, Wagner's master singers, his Meister singer, were not only successful businessmen and wonderful musicians, they were very pious believers. They chose to hold their rehearsals for their singing song contests in St. Catherine's. And so we thought it totally appropriate to come to Old St. Mary's as the modern equivalent for us, not only because of its beauty architecturally, but because it too continues a great musical tradition down to our day. On to Act Two. The comedic highlight of Wagner's Die Meistersinger takes place in the second act, which Wagner sets in one of the main streets of Nuremberg. For the 19th century Cincinnati Meistersinger, we'll move the action to one of the main streets of Over the Rhine. Behind me is a typical 19th century Over the Rhine building, which served both as a home and a shop. We'll be recreating this look for the 19th century Cincinnati Meistersinger. Come with me for Act 3. The setting for the final scene of the Meistersinger is actually going to be Music Hall itself. Built in 1878 to house the already famous May Festival, Wagner, in his opera, sets his final scene at a singing festival. So we thought it totally appropriate to move the action to the stage of Music Hall itself, this beautiful building built to celebrate song and to celebrate the great German culture of Cincinnati. This new production will be designed by Robert Dahlstrom, who has created nationally acclaimed productions that have been presented in Cincinnati, including The Tales of Hoffmann in 2006 and Rigoletto in 2005. It will be directed by the renowned German opera and theater director Chris Alexander. And we are thrilled to have Metropolitan Opera music director and Cincinnati native Maestro James Levine as conductor. He is undeniably the most talented and respected opera conductor of our age, and this will be one of the first times he has conducted a fully staged opera at any American company other than the Met since 1972. Maestro Levine and I have worked together closely to assemble a star-studded cast, 
many of whom will be reprising their roles from the acclaimed Met production in 2007, including internationally renowned bass James Morris as Han Zaks, the beautiful Korean-American soprano Hae Kyung Hong as Eva, and the celebrated Canadian tenor Richard Margeson as Walter von Stolzing. In 2010, as Cincinnati Opera celebrates its 90th anniversary, the community of Over the Rhine will be well on its way to completing a renaissance, with renovation and new development throughout the community, including a state-of-the-art school for creative and performing arts, the expansion of Washington Park, located just across the street from Music Hall, and many new residential and retail locations. We are tremendously excited to produce this landmark production for our 90th anniversary season and proud that our efforts will coincide with a rebirth of our beloved neighborhood over the Rhine. It is our sincere hope that you too will share in our enthusiasm for this important artistic and civic statement that we believe will bring great honor and renown to Cincinnati.